This is a Rodman 1290. I'm going to do a full walkthrough tour on this boat right here, right now. A fantastic sized, luxurious big fisher. Um, so stay tuned to see the walkthrough tour right now. Before you get started, check out our Parker Adams Superstore with loads of main brands for upgrading your boat, such as Raymarine, Garmin and Fusion. Check it out after this video. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales and we're here today in Mercury Marina on the River Hamble to see this fantastic Rodman 1290. Now this was um, laid up in 2021 and delivered in March 22, so it's a 22 boat and um, we can see that um, there's not many of these about and the Rodman 1290 is a kind of an evolution, hence the name 1290 evolution, from the old 1250 and it's a really updated more modern design with lots of features so I'm going to go through them now. First one actually I'd like you to see because we're on the pontoon it's quite hard to see but it's got this fantastic deep blue hull. Really really like this hull it really lifts the boat and and you can appreciate actually the side decks on here they get very high sided and the way the bow curves outwards so it delivers a very, very good sea boat. So these are a fantastic sea boat. You see these really commonly in um, areas where there are rough seas and you see a lot of these actually down near the Channel Islands. So there's really high tide, really troubled seas around the islands and Rodmans are prevalent down there. I think there's even a row um, in St. Peter Port of Rodmans just privately owned because it's a fantastic boat. They look much like a large American fisher um, and they're kind of designed around that whole out at um, long distances out to sea doing fishing and there's a great um, side decks and rear cockpit to show for that. Well, I'm just going to step round. Keep going. Keep going, Nick. Keep going. God's sake. <laughs> right. Um, but the Rodman does have attributes as well for easy, easiness of life. They've got this fantastic bathing platform on the back. I do like the fact it's actually got an additional cleat on here. It's quite a nice touch, but really nice size. Um, there is a tender on it. It's not going with the boat. The boat is for sale, but as you can see, it's got a little aluminium um, AB tender on here, um, but it's not going with the boat, but it just shows you what can be fitted. It's on snap davits and these standoff poles, which is really nice. Um, and then we've got the addition of a, um, a bathing ladder as well, fitted down in the center there. And um, the large door at the backs, very nice and it leads you through then to this fantastic cockpit space and this is really which this sort of area that lends itself to doing a lot of deep water fishing a lot of trips but also you don't have to buy this boat to do fishing this is also a fantastic socializing area um, you can have seating out here you can have a table out here you can have some chairs out here if you wanted um, but they do do additional seats as well so they've got this really nice finished and cushions which go onto these foldable seats. You can see the other one this side which is folded away. Um, but what they do do very well is locker space. So you've got these um, storage lockers either side. The other side is the same size, but we can store stuff in. They are removable as well, you can lift them out, but it can also be used. Um, you can fill them with water and use them to store um, any fish or bait or anything like that. There's also another locker here. Um, which is a wet locker as well and there's another locker on the side here in addition the same size as that one um, but also we've got this big space here now this boat is fitted with the largest choice of d6 engine you can have on here the d6 480s and they're on shaft drive which i personally like a shaft drive boat very reliable there's not much underwater to go wrong i'm just going to lift this up because it because it's shaft drive, the engines are actually underneath my feet where I am here. Um, and instead of the engines being in the back there, you have a massive storage area. So what I really like about this is the fact that if you do like going places on the boat and exploring, it's a fantastic place to actually store things like push bikes. Um, you can store things like paddle boards, um, outboards, loads of things you can store down here um, for doing activities. And it's a fantastic area. These are water tanks, so it's a fresh water tanks. There's two water tanks for the boat. Um, and then there's just access to loads of bits and pieces down here. Uh, so it's a fantastic space. And as you saw, it was on a, an electric lift. 
Um, really good addition. There is a, um, an IPS option on these boats, but the engines would be here and the IPS units would be here. So you lose this. Um, but I do like the shaft driven boats and you can see this is such a beamy boat it's a very wide boat and because of that the engines are quite far apart from each other and because of that the manoeuvring on this is very very good so the wider the propellers are apart from each other the easier they are to manoeuvre so in fact um, the owner has said this is one of the easiest boats he's manoeuvred in his ownership and he's had lots of boats in his ownership um, let me pop this back down um, as you can see on here though this is synthetic teak so it's actually flexi teak that put this one down. So it's a synthetic teak. A nice colour, I do like the grey. You can see it's a nice sort of touch having the grey instead of black um, with the grouting. So we'll put this all the way down. And uh, um, so that is that is fantastic storage. Um, if you look at the, I like these fittings as well. So where the ropes come through onto internal cleats. Um, and also these are rod holders. So you've got two rod holders here and two the other side. Um, there's also a bimini that comes out so there is a bimini fitted to this as an option so this will pull out and it's retractable um, so it will pull out and then you obviously have a cover on it and it gives you some shelters from the sun or light rain um, and as you can see there's lighting here and two external speakers so you can have your music out here you can have lighting in the evenings um, and also there's a rear camera as well um, so that's, um, but one thing I do love about the rod, and hang on, just come out here, is these side decks. So look how wide these side decks are. You know, you could like, wheel a, you could wheel a trolley around here. Um, really big chunky railings as well, but it leads round to a lounging area. Now there is the cushions for this as well. So we have the sunbed cushions for this. Um, the owner has them um, stored away at the moment, um, but they will be coming back obviously when it's sold. Um, but it's also made in the nice gray as the gray seat was in the back cockpit area. But you can see what a lovely social area this is. Because not only can you lie down, you can just sit around. You can just sit around watching the world go by. And you get the, you know, you get the privacy this end as well. Because if you do reverse into burst like this is, you get people walking past, which is nice. You have a natter, but when you want a bit of privacy, come up the front. This is a really nice social area. Um, round through the windlass, and so it's got the um, windlass here, which you can control from here, and also you can control from at the helm. And then obviously you have the anchor chain locker as well. And so there's a good amount of anchor chain in there. I'm not sure how much, but. Um, if you inquire about the boat, we'll let you know. We'll find out from the owner. Um, but these cushions also have a cover. So the cushions have a cover for them as well. So you can keep them on here covered up if you wish. Um, and as you come around this side, this, this side exactly the same width. Um, but you do have an addition of a side door at the helm. Now, I love a side door at the helm. Um, it's really easy then to mooring. So if you do do single-handed mooring, again, it's very easy. You can pretty much stand in here and control the engines and the bow thruster. And there's a cleat here, so you can just tie on with a cleat. There's a second cleat there. So there's two cleats along the side. It was quite unusual. Normally you just have one in the middle. Um, as you can see on the sea line next to us, there's just one there. But you've got two here. Gives you color options. One at the back and obviously at the front as well. So there's lots of tying up options. Again, and you don't feel in any way like you're going to you know, slip or fall or anything. It's such a safe way to get around. There's even grab handles on here as well. So if you do get in rough seas, which these boats are designed for, you feel very safe walking around the decks. What I'm going to do though, we're going to pop up to the flybridge. And being a fisher, it has a ladder up. Because I'm going to show you that it is a very sociable area up here as well. And again, in the gray, um, nice stitching as well. Uh, table for socializing. There is a full cover that goes over the seating um, in navy blue. Um, and also the whole flybridge has a big cover as well. So there is a whole big flybridge cover with this boat, um, but there's also a single cover for here and then a single cover for the, um, for the upper helm. Um, so the upper helm is here, so there is a cover that goes over this and both the seats, so it does protect it all. So if you wanted to, you could just put that cover on in this one and not have to worry about the big full cover, because as we know, they can be a bit of a pain to get on and off. Um, but um, it's quite a simple helm because of the D6480s. Um, actually, the engine instrumentation um, can either be shown on these LCD displays here, or they can be shown up on the Garmin chart plotter as well. Um, if you wish. 
Uh, this is connected to the, uh, it's a repeater to the one downstairs. Um, and the one downstairs, the chart plotter, will show you in a minute. There's also a separate Volvo display downstairs as well. But you can do everything up here as well. You can control the anchor, um, um, bow thruster and trim tabs as well. Um, so a very simple helm, but it does everything you need it to do. And of course the seats up here as well, you can um, raise and lower them and twist them around. And then it leads, as you may have already noticed, we do have a radar on here as well. It also has AIS transceiver as well. So it sends and receives AIS position, um, as well as obviously the BHF and the TV aerial. Um, but a nice touch. There is a life raft holder up here. The life raft isn't going with the boat. There won't be a life raft on here if anybody buys a boat, but there is a life raft holder on here. Um, so let's pop back down. <laughs> Are you alright there? Yeah, can you go the wrong way? I wish to be reversing that. So we'll have a look at Nick. Look, there he is. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> right, um, we're going to step into the boat now. So we're getting to the more luxury side of the Rodman. And um, just before we go there, I want to show you there is a um, storage box here. It's a wet storage, as also there is a sink. Um, so you can put drinks in here if you wanted to, and it will be like, like a cool box. Um, otherwise, the current owner is using it for just storing, cleaning things. A couple of drawers, which is quite nice. Um, and I think I've pretty much covered everything here. We'll take the shoes off. And then we can enter into the main saloon. And um, you can notice as well, there's a large aperture because it's a double slide door. So the door doubles up, so it goes to there and then goes again. So you can have it just open a little bit or you can have it doubly open as well, which is like this, which is fantastic. Um, so you get real feel of outside, inside um, when you come in. Um, and as you can see, there's a seating area. Uh, what I'd like to say is there is actually a stool that fits here, so you can extend the seating area with a stool. Um, the current owner, again, um, he, he doesn't need the extra seating, so again, he's got that stool somewhere, but it does fit here. It makes it into a slightly larger curved seating area. Um, and this does um, uh, adjust into a, a second sleeping area as well, so you can lower the table down. Um, it's a folding table, as you can see. And this is a... Um, um, I believe it's a walnut finished all the woodwork on here. Um, again, nice seating though. You've got seating for one, two, three, uh, four to five people quite happily around here with the extension six. And then of course we've got the socialising outside. Um, it's not the only seating in the cockpit, but I'll show you in a sec. I just want to lead you to this area. So this can just be obviously all surface, which I really like the idea that they do this, um, but everything's hidden away. So if we lift this up, we have got a twin induction hob and obviously hot and cold water sink uh, and nice sort of marbly finish on here and um, we also have though if we open it up here there's a microwave in here and then we've got glass storage and just extra storage as well it's quite a nice touch um, and then drawers um, i do like the old slide out that's quite a nice things are soft to close as well a wall, you know, of course you would. Um, there is a fridge, full fridge, so a large fridge. You might notice there's no freezer compartment because it has a separate freezer drawer just here. So a separate freezer drawer, which is actually really nice because the freezers in the fridges are never normally big enough to do, you know, to do to put what you want in there. You can normally get either one ready meal or one bag of ice. So it's quite nice that you can get quite a lot of stuff in. Um, but of course, when you sat around the um, and when you sat around on the evening being a bit bored, you also want a television. So very neatly, it pops out by the touch of a button, and your TV pops out. And while that's coming up, uh, as you do go into the evening, I just want to point out there are blinds all the way around, so we can really shut off the inside. Um, and of course, I do like the lighting as well. I like these, this sort of subtle lighting built into the headlining. And um, you see this on most new boats now, and Rodman have started to do it as well. Um, and as we go through all the electrics for turning everything on and off are just behind a clear perspex screen there. And then we'll come round into um, the lower helm position. And as I said, when I was upstairs, there's a second plotter here. 
Um, there's also the Volvo instrumentation. This will show you all your gauges on here. So it's very nice. And there's lots of little things and settings you can do on this. It's a little multifunction display in itself. Um, but then obviously everything else can be done on the, uh, on the chart plotter. Um, there's also down here is a fusion stereo which controls all the speakers so you've got internal speakers and the external which we showed you um, there's a victron energy battery monitoring system and you can control the trim tabs and the bow thrust as you normally would as well um, and then these are actually your battery switches so very neatly they're all here so as you can see we've just got domestic and the engine batteries on at the moment just so we can show you the volvo screen coming up and you can turn everything on and off there very easily so everything really is to hand and then you've got all your array of switches down here and there's a neat step so when you are traveling um, you can put your feet on and it's a twin helm as you may have noticed um, but they do have nice bolster cushions as well so you can stand um, and you can drop them down and have a nice comfy seat and these are comfortable seats with armrests as well they're really plush i do like them very stylish a nice, I appreciate a nice seat. Um, and obviously you've got this wooden floor throughout, but there's a second little seat as well. Here, look, I quite like this, little twin seat. Again, it becomes, it can be part of the social group, part of the people when they're helming down below. Um, or again, just another place to sit and drink a cup of coffee of a morning or an evening, have a beer. Um, very nice, nice bit of storage on top of here. Um, and then we'll pop down, I think, Oh, just to point out, there is a cover that does cover the front screen. Um, so it was on here um, when I looked at the boat yesterday, and the owners took it off. I just thought, you know, we can have a bit more light in here. It's quite murky. It's this middle of December at the moment. It's quite murky. We've been trying to do this on a bright day, and this is actually the brightest day. There, there is blue sky around, but it's just that kind of time of year where it's all a bit murky. But what it does do, it highlights the lighting on this boat because the boat is fantastically lit. And as we go through into the master front cabin, look at these windows. How fantastic that is. And if you waking up to this, you can, you don't have to wake up to it. You can have the blinds down. Um, but as soon as you lift these blinds, fancy being, you know, out, even here, you're looking out onto the water. I think it's that's a lovely place to wake up in the morning. Um, and, and there are opening windows either side, but you've also got this overhead as well. I've got it shut at the moment, but if I slide it back, see it adds a really nice, more, uh, opening and then this one as well and this is actually the opening hatch and of course your emergency hatch if you need to as well they do have fly screens so you literally go the other way and it's a fly screen and i think this one does as well even though it's not an opening window they still have it in there and it probably adds a bit of shade if you wanted it if you want the light through but not too much um, then you can have that again the lighting throughout is really nice a um, nice size bed as well um let me just pop up sorry to the owners if uh, listening but I always like to demonstrate the size of the bed and it's a really nice size double um, as you may know um, i'm six foot tall um, and you can see there's still plenty of headroom and there's enough room for two people six foot tall on here quite easily um, so again very nice and again all the walnut woodwork all the way around um, it has some nice touches it's got wardrobe either side it's kind of mirrored so it's the same um, there's a full length mirror here actually so when the door's shut you can actually see in front of the full length mirror but what i do like is the wardrobe is here but you can pull your clothes out so it's quite a nice touch you can pull them out and slide them back in again and a couple of shelves as well um, boats fitted with heating so there are heating vents in every cabin um, so Basto heating controlled up in the saloon and it does warm the boat up very nicely which I can um, contest to because I was on it yesterday with the heating on and it was very warm indeed. Um, a big wardrobe here and again it slides out and again shelves underneath for storage um, but what I do like as a second cabin is actually the size of this one because initially you think oh, single bed um, but as you come in You've got a single bed, again with this fantastic um, window on the side and with the same blind system as well. Um, but also, if I come round to here, there is a full second bed. And you know what I really like about this is the fact, actually, they're not next to each other. Because with twins, it's quite often, um, it's quite often it's um, your children 
so um, the older children and they don't want to be right next to each other it's nice that it's slightly separated um, and also you can if you just need a single you can just have a single and this end can be used for storage uh, and it still allows you to have uh, good access as well um, there's actually little lights here there's even another window on the side with a blind again so even if you're here you still have a nice outlook onto the water um, and then i've not opened this yet but again just a little cubby hole for storing bits and pieces in so all in all really nice cabin and again it's still still got this nice lighting throughout um what i did notice as well is all the sockets it's got three pin sockets in in um in the cabins there's one other side of the front cabin as well but it also have usb sockets in them all as well um, which is very very useful i can lift that up bit of storage right You've noticed it's carpeted down here as well. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll go into, if I shoot all the way through, into the full size shower and great headroom. And um, the tap's actually up here, which is quite nice. And it's a kind of monsoon shower. Um, so I think it's a very usable, I'm gonna close this off. So it's a nice usable space. Um, and there's even a seat as well if you wanted to um, if I just yeah thank you Dick. just to show you the rest um, there is a um, sea toilet so it's sea toilet into a holding tank so it uses seawater but it goes straight into the holding tank again heating vent as well and then the nice sink on countertop sink which I like just very stylish and again another big window and again there is a blind so you can shut it off there's an opening window above um, and there's a towel rail and a big mirror that you can see. Um, so let's just pop back out um, and then pop back into the saloon. And, um, and the actual engine access is, just to say lastly, is down here. Um, oh, it's just a lift. Um, and then there's a ladder to go down into the engine room. And um, there's quite a large amount of space down there. Like I say, there's a Volvo Penta um d6 480s which are the largest option um on the rodman 1290 and they push the boat um onto early 30 so 30 31 32 knots um and also so your cruising speed you know is kind of mid 20s something like that so and again i do like the shaft driven ones it's, it's kind of the sort of engine you don't ever have to worry about ips are great um, if you want that aid for manoeuvring but with these engines and the bow thruster like the owner says it's an easy boat to maneuver anyway and i do like the shaft drive you kind of know where you are um so this is the rodman 1290 a fantastic boat remember it's a 21 built for a 22 model year delivery and the actual current owners have had it since it was new from march 22 um and um and we've got quite a few months now to try and get this boat sold so if you like this boat come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk subscribe to our channel please parker adams boat sales and we'll see you on the next video so bye for now